Greetings, Team Texas. Just want to come to you and talk to you a little bit about some of the things that are going to be going on over the next couple of months as we prepare to enter into the holiday season. Uh, prior to doing that, I want to say, first of all, congratulations to Doric Temple for celebrations of their 100th year anniversary. Uh, I was able to go down and spend some time with them and uh, partake in all of the fellowship, and it was a great event that we had. Uh, while there, uh, we were also able to go out to uh, Acres Homes Community Center and uh, participate with them and doing some community work where we uh, made some donations of supplies for Hurricane Harvey relief, also uh, some toys for the kids to make their Christmas a little bit more um, happy for them and everything. So uh, it was a fun-filled week, uh, weekend where we did a lot of work, a lot of good work, and I just want to congratulate uh, the nobles and the daughters of, of Doric Temple for all the work that they're doing in support of the victims of Hurricane Harvey. And um, continue doing the great works that you're doing. Uh, as we move into the month of December, uh, as you know, uh, for everybody, it's time for your elections and everything. So we want to make sure that everybody takes care of all of the prerequisites that you have. Uh, you know, you need to have your audits done. Uh, you should have already had those done and, and completed. Uh, if you do not have an audit uh, completed, uh, you cannot conduct your election. So please make sure that uh, we don't have any issues in that regard. Uh, deputies, make sure that all those things are taken care of beforehand. Uh, you also need to make sure that you have your budgets done. You should have uh, already had that budget worked up and uh, had it presented and uh, should be finalized uh, for this month as you move into your elections. Uh, the, additionally, uh, when we start talking about getting into January and having your elections and turning in your reports and everything, remember that you have to have your audits, your budgets, your insurance, and your temple calendars. Uh, please make sure that those are submitted to Imperial Council by the 20th, and also copies also go to the Deputy of the Desert as well. So let's make sure we get those in and stay away from any Grand Lodge events. Uh, any Grand Lodge level events, we cannot have any uh, events going on at that time. So uh, please uh, help me deconflict our schedules and make sure that you're doing your planning um, accordingly. As we talk about our planning and our calendars, um, nobles in particular, uh, as you continue to plan, uh, we've done a lot of work to try and make sure we don't have uh, multiple events as it relates to balls going on. Uh, you should have the schedules that have been sent out with the dates that have already been uh, assigned to uh, the various temples. Please stay away from those dates. Do everything that you can. Uh, it doesn't help any of the temples or, or the courts when we have multiple balls going on at the same time. It restricts people from being able to come and participate. So let's make sure that the dates are open. There are no conflicts and everything. Uh, the only one that we, we never have a problem with uh, is Oro. Oro does their balls in March. So uh, look at your calendar, figure out what works out best, and let's try to make sure that uh, we don't have anyone stepping on top of each other. Uh, also, m be sure that you get your stewardship reports in. Uh, for those officers that uh, you have to have a stewardship report or elsewise, you will not be able to uh, be elected for a seat for 2018. So let's uh, make sure we take care of our, our home cleaning. Uh, also, want to talk about the uh, Desert Traveler that's coming up. The next uh, deadline for the Desert Traveler will be the 20th of January. Now we're off in the middle of Christmas cheer, so uh, let's make sure that we get all of those articles in to Pass Potente Palmer, and he'll make sure that he gets those into the Desert Traveler so that everybody can see the good works that you're doing, because I know you're out there doing it. I see it on Facebook, so uh, let's make sure that we put it in there and get it on uh, to the Desert Traveler, and then of course it'll be ready for the pyramid once you uh, have gone through the scrutiny of our our uh, crack PR director and everything. So uh, make it easy on yourself, and let's let's go ahead and get those things done. Uh, also, we got coming up uh, 27 January, we have the Desert Conference uh, workshop that will be held at the MCM Elegante in Dallas. Uh, by now, everyone should have received your registration packets. So let's make sure you get your registrations in and also uh, help us out. Uh, let's make sure you get your room reservations done now. Remember, it's much easier for you to cancel a room than it is to get one at the late date. So uh, make sure you get those in. Uh, go ahead and get that taken care of. And then we'll go to um, Dallas, and we're going to have a great workshop. Uh, we're going to do some things that might be a little bit different, uh, but we're going to make them productive. So make sure that everybody comes. You have something that you can take with you through 2018, and it will help you uh, as you go about executing your duties. I want to thank all of the elected and appointed officers of the temples and the courts for all the work that you've done this year. You've done a great job in making sure that we are holding to our principles and our 
uh, everything that it is that uh, are our primary uh, programs, and so you've been working in your communities. So I want to thank you for doing those things and making Team Texas look good. Uh, also, let's make sure that this year we spend extra energy on voters' registration and education. Uh, I don't need to tell you about the things that are going on in our country, and it is critically important as we get ready to move into the midterms that we get out and educate our communities and make sure we get as many folks registered as possible. I'll be working with our desert uh, voter registration uh, director. We're going to come up with some programs to assist you on some things that we are hoping that are going to uh, be beneficial out in our communities. But uh, let's put that on our mind, that we need to be out there working in our communities, registering the voters, making sure they're educated on where the voting is going to take place, all of those things. Remember, we're not a political organization, but it's one of our primary programs to make sure that we have folks that are registered. Our communities need to be registered because if we don't use that vote, we're not going to have anything to say. So please make sure we do that. Um, I look forward to seeing everybody. I know Christmas is coming up. Please continue to do the things that you're doing. Um, keep in mind that uh, we are here to help you out with those programs. Um, and let's do the best that we can. Make sure that when you go out to, to vote and everything in your temples and your courts, uh, vote for the right person. Make sure that those are the leaders that you want to take you down through the next year. And uh, everybody else, uh, take care of yourself, take care of your families. Merry Christmas to everybody, and we look forward to seeing you in January. Take care, and God bless.